The Spider Queen glides along two 8-inch wide treads. A little 180 action here. Allowing a single operator to position it at the very edge of the tower. All right, come on, Spider Crab. Okay, it's good. We're good. It's good. Spider Crane is in position. Yes. So this is actually the single most exciting part of the process, because this is when Spider Crane transforms from mobile Spider Crane into stationary Spider Crane. And to do so, it's going to get very spider-like. The spider crane deploys four adjustable legs. We're going to the max. Max, every time. Ready for deployment. Each leg extends out over seven feet. And this is actually happening. We're making the spider crane. Unlike tower cranes, which balance their loads using counterweights in the rear, the spider crane relies on its low center of gravity. Standing just five feet tall and weighing half as much as one counterweight, it can teeter on the edge and lift a 2,000-pound glass panel without toppling over. There she comes. Oh, okay. The full spider transformation. With all four legs keeping it balanced, crews swing the boom outside of the tower. I'm deploying the spider boom right now. And what's also totally amazing, I attached a tiny camera to the edge of the boom. Check it out. Spidey cam out over the abyss. To reduce the wind's impact, the spider boom extends just three feet beyond the building's threshold. Okay, she's coming down. We're coming down. The hook is then lowered to a glass team one floor below, where they operate the spider crane by remote control. Push, 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 push. The precision controls of the spider crane allow the crew to maneuver with less than a quarter of an inch of clearance. Beautiful. All while under the force of a Category 1 hurricane. All right. All right. This team's record, 52 panels in one day. The glass is in place. 